Hello the internet! It is Tuesday the 16th of January 2018. It is a cold day here in Katoomba! Felicia, what's going on? I don't know. What's happening with the weather? What is summer here? It's not even going to get over 20 degrees here in the summer. Today I'm taking you on a special walk. I'm taking her on the Charles Darwin walk which goes from Wentworth Falls to Wentworth Falls. <laughs> but we do slightly different. I'm going to take her down. You want to go on a long walk? I'll take you on a long walk. We go down and we go back up and then we go up to the King's Table Land. The only thing that's killing me right now, the weather is... Yeah, there's the sun in the Himmel, but it is absolutely cold right now. I put jeans on for a bushwalk. What's going on? It's summer! This is the walk I wanted to take Felicia on today. The Charles Darwin Walk for Wentworth Falls and King's Table Land as a little additional bonus. Extra leg burner at the end. We've got water, we've got food, we've got some drinks. We've got the wonderful Australian bush. Be all that I can be. It's what I'm always wanting I sit and watch the rain fall Some days just go by so slow This walk winds its way along the edge of the creek and that creek ends up becoming Wentworth Falls which is a massive waterfall that flows over this massive rock ledge and that's where we're headed. Right now it's just a small trickle it gets larger and larger and larger in volume until BAM! Off the edge it goes. I like it when Felicia gets a camera out. I like it even more when she's wearing my merch! Which I forgot to mention in the last vlog, if you like the merch that Felicia's wearing, you can purchase it. I've got links to my merch store in the description of this video. See it widening out a little bit more here, getting a little bit more voluminous, making its way... I'm gonna say south, but that's wrong. It's heading downstream. Doesn't necessarily mean it's going south, it's just heading down. Be all that I can be. And now as you move further on the Charles Darwin walk, the sounds of the road and the street and the suburbs has been quietly replaced by the cascading call of cicadas. And that's a load of waffle. All I meant is that they're loud. As Felicia's walking along there, notice her bag that she's got. That's everyday circus. Now, I'm not about to do an everyday circus NSD because that's not a shirt. But I will tell you, Everyday Circus are a fantastic German band who's Felicia's seen. They came on the tour with Tracer as supports in the UK a couple of years ago. Lovely boys, lovely band. Felicia, turn around and tell me a little bit about the band. Lovely boys, yeah. Great music and very much talent. Yeah. This is true. Very much talent. I will snippet a little bit of uh, some live footage of Everyday Circus in here. Just a little smidgen, just so you get a little taste. <laughs> That probably is the only time in Australia you will see Everyday Circus. Either the band, or the t-shirt, the bag, possibly the album. There may be some fans here in Australia. If you are a fan of the band and you're in Australia, give a hoo-hoo and a shout out and let us know. We'll just make a comment. Now things are really widening out, but this is not Wentworth Falls. Well, technically it's not, it's part of it, but small part of the waterfall. In front of me, the bigger part of the waterfall. If I turn the camera around, you won't see anything except the water disappearing. You just have to take my advice and my word. That is one heck of a waterfall. We're going to try to go a little bit closer and see more of it. If we can, I think there's some closed tracks. There's been a couple of deaths right here in the last month or two. So yeah, there's been a couple of deaths here. Unfortunately, the track is closed ahead, but Felicia's still going to get a chance to see part of it from the beginning. Hello, went under the bridge. Got under the bridge. <laughs> He's got under the bridge. Yeah, there'll still be a good view from here, but just we're not going to have to go all the way down into the waterfall, which is what we kind of planned on doing. We're umming and ahhing whether we're going to go down anyway, and that decision has now been made for us. Achtung, mein Kopf! Mach Platz for the Kopf! This could be very, very painful. Entschuldigung, mach Platz for the Kopf! And while Felicia's just taken off up ahead a little, and we're in such a beautiful area, I want to say hello and welcome to the new subscribers to my channel. Over the Christmas New Year's period, it's been a lot more activity on my channel a lot more people coming a lot more comments and I'm just here to say welcome what a spectacular channel <laughs> what a spectacular view and 
Thank you for being a part of it on my channel. Oh, I got that wrong. The track all the way down is open. The track that's closed is on the other side under the cliff face. The track going down to the waterfall, which we're on right now, that's still good to go. So let's get down there. Behind me is Wentworth Falls. All that water we walked past on the way down here, making its little way on a little path all the way to this. This waterfall, the one behind me, I'm gonna have to put the camera right down on an angel like that. Probably not gonna work, but it's behind me up there. What a beauty! It is beautiful, but now we go back up. She's going for it. I'm exhausted. And that's where our trip would normally return back, but we are gonna go King's Table Land. Here it is. A lot of people that do this walk wouldn't come up King's Table Land. They would just do Wentworth Falls and return back to the car park area. Our focus was to do both. This just gets like a little bit of a bush walking as well as scenery, beautiful scenery. Much needed break for food, water, and rehive ventilation. Rehive ventilation? What? I just combined too many words then. Reventilation, rehydration. Okay, two. We've eaten, we've eaten well, we've revitalized and revitatanchized, whatever the word was I used before that I made up and I can't recall. Now it's just a short stroll up this track. Actually, it's probably about another kilometer to King's Tableland, or as it's known these days, Lincoln's Rock. And while we were having our lunch break and rejuvenizing and refritalizing and revitalizing, Felicia did something that probably would be quite normal in Germany, yet sort of somewhat, not frowned upon, but just not done very often. You took off your bra, right? Yeah, it's too hot and freedom. Can you believe this? So <laughs> right now, underneath my merch, my merch, her tits, boobs, breasts, mammaries, whatever you call them, wherever you are, are just sitting there freely. I can't show you any more than just this, obviously, because YouTube, etc., 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 demonetization, flagging, and whatnot. But I do like that you did that, and I thought that was vlog worthy. Now we are super close to King's Table Land. What a view, huh? Yeah. Perfect conditions here, too. No wind, just this beautiful vista of gloriousness mountain the time to celebrate we've just walked ah my elbow i can't do that side i gotta go. i'm sorry i gotta go this way can you hold that for me <laughs> thanks girl still can't quite bend this in the right position truth be told i'm gonna have to go back and get surgery i, I can't i can't live like this i can i can't live like this man <laughs> oh, give me that back come back to me we did endeavor endeavor no we did just purchase double jack just to get slightly closer to Felicia's hometown of Germany where the jack flows freely and the tits are allowed out <laughs> mind you double jack as you know from watching my Jack Daniels experience vlogs check one out here double jack is not a double serving of jack it's actually double it's it's a it's a two it's two standard drinks in Australia which does not make it a double serving of jacks all it makes it is two of our alcoholic serves so 6.9% alcohol by volume and Felicia's used to 10% look what's right here quite literally this is my hand this is the cliff face but it's not as gnarly as it seems there's actually another ledge there so but just just straight off here it's what's that it's a bit better it's yeah. a little bit better. Yeah. yeah. Can't help them any more than that. I mean, we could buy a bottle of Jacks and pour some extra in here. <laughs> That'd be one way of doing it. Hey, that might be what we do next. It's too warm sitting here. Even though this morning was freezing, it is just too warm to be here in jeans. If she can sit there. Oh, you've got your. So Felicia's now gone respectable, put her bikini on. But I'm going to sit here in my undies because it's too dang it's the hot. hot. It's the hot German. That's the half German in me, I don't care. I'm sorry for everybody else, but I am taking my pants off. Can you watch? <laughs> help. Can you help? <laughs> you can hold the camera. I cannot sit here in my jeans. And I have to apologize to anyone who's offended by a man sitting in his undies on a rock. Of course, Lincoln's Rock is very popular with people and lots of tourists come to check this out. Understandably so, I'm here showing Felicia, a tourist. These guys here asking me to help them 
mark their photo and I'm all about taking photos as you know so let's help them out take a quick photo what do we got here it's a Canon oh, just something like this yeah okay no problem gives a minute <laughs> oh, look at that giving out my stickers that's cool I'm gonna just put this Felicia can you do me a favor can you film this I'm just gonna get uh, my friend to hold the camera this this camera for me okay. it's just funny seeing me and my undies taking photos for people <laughs> all right and now another one's really happy because you're being taken by a photo with a man in his undies. I like helping people, especially when it's photography related. The fact I'm in my undies just makes that even more exciting. Not for them, for me. <laughs> Thanks for filming. <laughs> now that those photos are finished, we're sitting here and I'm watching a couple of little swallows, little little swift, those birds flying around the area. And obviously they're flying across here, across the top of the rock, and then they shoot out over the valley. And it kind of raised a question in my mind. The question I had was, do birds recognize height? This swift or swallow or whatever you call it, you know, the little darting around birds. This little bird, once it's flying above this rock and then it gets across the edge and all of a sudden the distance from it to the ground has now quadrupled. Does that bird just go, whoa, and completely freak out? And then it keeps going out over the Jamison Valley. Does it then just go completely mental and like, what? This is way too high. And does it come back? Like what happens to birds? And like, do they even have a sense of height? And if they don't, why don't you ever see birds when you're up in an airplane? Why don't you look out and see like a, a seagull flying past the plane or in the dist or a crow or something. What if there is a level, like a height level that birds can fly, you know, whatever it is, a couple of thousand meters or whatever, then that swift or swallow that flies out across this ledge and all of a sudden it's over that. That's way over a thousand meters. So it's, it's broken that barrier. Like that's the questions I'm asking to the givers right now. And yes, it could be an influence of old mate Jack, but it was a question that I had. Felicia couldn't give me a real straight answer. She didn't know. Felicia, that you don't have any idea, do you? No. That's fair enough. It's a tough question. I do ask the hard hitting questions. I'm sitting here, pondering, wondering, questioning, wanting to know the answers. If any of the givers out there are bird specialists and you know how high birds can fly and what happens when a bird happens to be Bam, all of a sudden a thousand meters, does, does their senses just go Along those same lines about birds and heights and flying, we just met a gentleman here who's got a hang glider. Now he's going to demonstrate the potential differentiations between heights and how birds or winged animals or winged craft such as a hang glider experience this. He's taking myself and Felicia straight off the guts here on a hang glider. So let's go and catch up with him right now. Oh, that's um. We're out of time, birds. Oh, well, that's um. I ran out of time again on my vlog. If you like what you've seen on my channel, these hit the subscribe button. If you want to support me even further? Become a Patreon. Also check out my previous vlog and a random vlog. Don't forget my Lightroom presets, my merch store, and all the other good things that I've got for you in the description of this video. Has that been 20 seconds? Yes, it has.